Mm -hmm. So we never got an explanation as to why the Moonique show went away. So again, it kind of like, you know, I, I, and the fact that I have you here, so I'm gonna take your advice as far as asking directly, why did the show come to an end? Like, I've heard so much wishy-washy, but you the host. That's a great question, Jonathan. And we've never gotten an answer. Mm. We're like the little girl on Family Matters. We went upstairs and we simply never came back mm. because the third season was picked up. It was picked up. People loved it. Then we got a call. And people loved it. And just so that you know the facts, it mm. was the number one show mm. in that time slot. And it was the highest numbers in the history of BET's network and doing that time hour. spot. Mm -hmm. So we never got an explanation as to why the Monique show went away. So again, when you start connecting all the dots, see the Monique show went away right around the time when I said, guys, I can't work for free. Mm. But it also was a dynamic that we had that seemed to stem from, there was a cancer awareness show in which they had come the big wigs, Deborah Lee and the big wigs mm -hmm. had come. Well, Monique had said in a meeting that I believe in this network and I'm down for it. Mm -hmm. And for those people that are dropping the ball, either step on the ship or step the fuck off. Mm -hmm. That was strong words. But when you have the own or the president of your network, it's mm -hmm. kind of like having Jordan and you got Phil Jackson and Jordan is telling the team, we got to step up and do what we need to do. Phil Jackson and the Bulls organization is not mad at a man for telling his team, we got to step up so we, we can be number one. And nor was Deborah Lee that night as they hugged and embraced and they said, I love each other. I was asked to go to DC the next day because we were going to try to get President Barack Obama on the show. When I went to DC, I was asked to come visit with Deborah Lee as she conveyed to me that Monique had apparently insulted some people mm. that were in the room. When we asked who it was, she wouldn't tell us. When I asked the COO at the time, was he offended? He said, man, I come from a sports background. I got pumped up off of that personally. When we later found out who it was, it was a female who was in the advertising who quit a month later. Mm. We then said, well, if you want Monique to apologize to somebody, she's got to know who she's apologizing to. And it seemed as if we went from having a wonderful relationship with Deborah Lee to having a relationship where all of a sudden she appreciated the words that Moni communicated the night before, but because someone else had an issue with it, mm -hmm. but she won't tell her who her accuser is, what do you do? There's a woman by the name of Loretha, jo uh, uh, Loretha, Loretha Jones. Jones. Okay. She was the president of the West Coast, and mm -hmm. she was in charge, essentially, of our show. She's the one that I made the deal with on behalf of Monique. She communicated to us, and to me personally, in tears, I hate the way they treated you and the way that you left. All I would say is, and I hate that to say it, but again, we're dealing with our lives. Ask Loretha Jones what type of person Monique was mm -hmm. and how we were to deal with. And you can't run in and tell us that we broke records and we did incredibly well and you're going to reduce the budget of the show because people know where you at. Where they do that at? 